Welcome to Prague. There's a peacock right there. It's big and it's blue. We arrived in Prague by train. We took an Uber to our hotel, checked in, and then went to go get something to eat. We went to a restaurant called Three Little Pigs. It was really good. Our waiter just brought us these little bowls full of hot water and um, a lime, and we're going to try it. It's for our, after we're done eating our chicken wings. Just wash our hands and then dry it. So let's try this. It's boiling hot water, so. <laughs> it burns the fingers. Oh. Well, it feels nice because now my hands are sticky. <laughs> oh, that feels <laughs> We have some traditional Czech food. Starting with ribs, then we go into the wings, and then we end with the goulash and tomato pizza. Good morning, everyone. It's a new day. Today we're in Prague. We're gonna see the changing of the guards at the Prague Castle. We took the subway to the center of town and man was the subway deep underground. We were so deep underground that our ears started popping. Then we had to go all the way back up. The castle is on top of a hill, so even after the subway, there's a little bit of a walk. This is beautiful. At exactly 12 noon, the church bells went off and a loud siren played to signal the start of this changing of the guards. Then the procession began. At this point, we realized we were on the wrong side of the procession, so we raced around to the other side. Everyone watched in silence as the soldiers began marching down the walkway. Seeing the changing of the guards was really special because we didn't get to see it in London. The changing of the guard ceremony marks the moment when soldiers currently on duty exchange places with the new guard. After the changing of the guards, we went back to go get a closer look at the church. This is St. Vitus Cathedral, the largest and the most important church in the country. The church has a Gothic style. That person right there has a pet owl. There's a peacock right there! It's big and it's blue! This park has peacocks everywhere. I'm sit on this bin right here. Oh, I want to get so on. close to it. Savannah, don't scare it away. I just want to get really close to it. The peacocks in this park made it so unique. The peacocks were very friendly and weren't afraid of humans.
After the park, we stopped for lunch, and there was this really interesting play area outside our restaurant. After lunch, we headed to more of an artistic place in the city. We're at the John Lennon Wall. The John Lennon Wall symbolizes freedom of speech and nonviolent resistance of Czech youth. The wall started in 1980, shortly after John Lennon from the Beatles was assassinated. The wall is a memorial for John Lennon and his ongoing message for freedom, free speech, peace, and resistance against communism. The artwork on the wall is constantly evolving as people add new messages and artwork. After seeing the John Lennon wall, we headed to a very historic place in Prague. We are on the Charles Bridge. Charles Bridge is the oldest bridge in Prague. It is a medieval stone arch bridge that was built in 1357. You can see the beautiful buildings off in the distance and the saint statues lining the pathway. Walking across the bridge is like stepping back in time. After walking over Charles Bridge, we headed to another popular place to see. If you haven't been here before, you will never guess what this crowd is watching. She called me Nana. <laughs> the crowd is waiting for the clock to strike the hour. It is a medieval astronomical clock. While we waited, we played with this cute little girl. It's time! As the clock rings, the 12 apostles appear in the windows. This clock not only shows the time, but it also shows the phases of the sun, moon, earth, and zodiac signs. And the man's After seeing the famous clock, we took a bus back to our hotel. It is the next day again. Rory bought some new shoes and we had lunch at a local restaurant. Lorelai and I are having Greek salads and mom and dad are having burgers. When we returned to our hotel, the housekeeper had left this neat surprise in her hotel room. Before we knew it, it was time to head to our next destination. We hopped in an Uber to head to the airport. We had a little something to eat in the airport and we were on our way. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.